Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. Today I'm going to show you how to mine Digibyte Skyme with Awesome Miner and Mining Pool Hub. Let's get started. Okay, first things first, download a copy of Awesome Miner. I'll put a link down in the description. Make sure you click the top one here for Awesome Miner Installer. That is the full program. Download that and install it. Next, come over here to miningpoolhub.com and sign up. When you do, make sure you choose a username that's easy to remember. You will be typing it in later on. Okay, once you're finished installing Awesome Miner, it'll take you through a bunch of different wizards. One of them is to set up your pools. Another one is to set up a miner. Just cancel out of all of that and get to this main screen. I'll take you through how to set up everything, all right? Now, the first thing we need to do is set up a new miner. So what we'll do is click on the new miner button. And that will take us right back to the same wizards that we would have gotten right after you installed it. And you'll see it says add new miner. So just go ahead and click on next. And then we have a couple different choices here. Um, really, it's between these two, managed miner and managed profit miner. We're going to choose managed profit miner and click on next. The reason we do that is because it gives us a chance to pick what type of profit profile and I'll explain that in just a minute but for right now let's just go ahead and give this a name we're gonna call it miner one and then uh, the second one here is local host that's fine we can leave that on local and then right here where it says profit switching profile this is where you can choose the profile for your graphics card so it's between AMD or Nvidia so whichever one you have Make sure you set it according to that GPU, okay? Um, and then just click on next. And we're pretty much done, all right? So what that is basically done is created this new miner here and then um, set it up with the profile for the, the right mining software for that particular graphics card, right? So um, this way you don't have to worry about picking which miner to use. The software will do it for you automatically. Now the next step is to create a new pool. So we're gonna click on the new pool icon. All right, and, and what a pool is, is, is basically um, uh, a connection to a server that, that, that puts you in a pool, uh, a, a group of other machines that are mining the same coin. All right, so what we're gonna do is name this one here, Digibyte dash Skyne. And I'm gonna put a dash MPH so I know it's at miningpoolhub.com. All right, and then right here, it's asking for the server URL. So what we're gonna do is type in stratum plus TCP colon forward slash forward slash. Okay, this is gonna set up the protocols that we're gonna to need to use. All right, but then we have to grab the actual server address from Mining Pool Hub. So let's go over there. Over on Mining Pool Hub, this is the main page. And if I click on AMD, you can see Digibyte Skyne is the number three coin being mined right now. So this is pretty good for an AMD card. Uh, let's click on NVIDIA and just double check. It's also number three for NVIDIA. So a pretty good coin to be mining at the moment. Now this changes pretty much daily, but at least it's worth mentioning right now. So um, what we need to do is go to the Digibyte Skyne page over here. So on the left-hand side where it says Digibyte Skyne, click that one. All right, don't click on the other ones because those are different algorithms. This is different from most of the, like if you go to most coin pools, the first page has all the server addresses on it. But for some reason, th this one doesn't. Um, you can scroll down and it doesn't really have much information here. So what we need to do is just see where it says help on the bottom left, click the getting started link. And now we have server options. Okay, so here is the server address. All right, and then there's the port number. We need both, okay? So, so I'm just gonna copy one and drop that in, okay? And then you put a colon. And now we need the port number, which was 20527, 20527, okay? So this is the full address then. Now, for the worker name, this is your username at miningpoolhub.com. So remember I told you to pick something simple and easy to remember? Well, that was it, put it in here, okay? Mine is Goose Tech. Keep in mind, this is case sensitive, dot, and then we're just gonna call this one Miner1 because that's the name we gave it. Uh, the password is X, 
And then for the coin, unfortunately, you can go through here and you won't find Digibyte Skine anywhere. You'll find regular old Digibyte. I think you'll find... Um, there's there's a couple of different Digibyte coins here, all right? But so like here's straight up. This one's just, just plain Digibyte, right? You can use that for right now, but it's going to be wrong. And the reason is, is because we're mining the Skine algorithm version of Digibyte. So just leave it like this for right now. I'm going to show you how to add that coin as a custom coin to Awesome Miner so that it will actually give you reasonable, accurate results in terms of your profit. All right. This is not going to be accurate right now. So just click on OK. That's fine for now. And then click on Options. Okay, now here on Options where it says Coins and Profit, there is this one that's called Statistics. All right, this is what we want. And right here, it's using whattomine.com. Okay, this is the source for all of the profit information. Well, you see right here where it says Additional JSON URLs, we can actually put in a specific coins um, configuration file which gathers all the information from the website including the difficulty and the price and actually work it right into our system so it's real easy to do all you have to do is visit the page for that coin so see this right here DGB dash skine alright so this is the page now what we're looking for in terms of the address is up here on the server address bar alright but all we need is the number. So it says basically whattomine.com slash coins slash 114. Well, that's all we need. We don't need the rest. So we're going to copy this whole address um, with just the number. Okay. Copy that and then paste it in this top box right here. And then put a dot J S O N. Okay. And that's basically now going to set up Digibyte Skine as part of the coins in the in the in the software, so we can search for it. All right, so let's let's go ahead and um, go to the next step. So that so that's in there now. The next step is just to set up the profit switching. All right, before we can start mining. All right, so here's profit switching, and what you need to do here is click the top one for enable managed profit switching but turn off all the rest. We don't need any of these except for right here where it says custom pools, okay? So put a check mark here on custom pools and then in the pull down menu, go to this one right here that says Digibyte Sky, the one we just added, okay? If this is your first time and you don't have any other coins in the pool, then that, that's the only one that'll show up. So select that one and click on okay. Okay, now we're almost ready to start mining, but we just have to set up the wallet for Digibyte Skine. All right. Okay, back on miningpoolhub.com, we just go over here to where it says my account and click on the wallet link. And this is where we'll put in all of the information for our own Digibyte wallet. So um, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. If you have Mining Pool Hub set up to use auto exchange and you're not you don't want to get paid in Digibyte, then um, you can just leave this. But if you want to actually get paid out in Digibyte, then what you'd want to do is go to the Digibyte website, uh, click on Downloads, and get the wallet. Okay, so you would click this one here for Windows or Mac. Um, I mean, I guess Windows because we're, we're dealing with Windows. So you would click this and download the wallet and install it. And once you do, it'll give you your Digibyte wallet address. All right, and then what you do is you come back to Mining Pool Hub and put your wallet address right here and then set your automatic payout threshold, okay? That, you know, it really depends on what is best for you. But there's a, a transaction fee of 0 0.01 Digibyte. So you'll have to kind of play around with the numbers and figure out what works for you. Um, you know, for me, I would, I would probably just want to put like one digibyte because um, at that then this would just basically be one percent fee you know so it would make kind of sense to do it like that so um, now you can set it to a lot lower but just keep in mind that you know that'll start to eat into the amount of digibyte that you're able to withdraw uh, once you've determined which 
threshold you want, then you pop in your four digit PIN or your six digit um, Google authentication code and click on update account and then it'll save it. It saves the, the payment address, your threshold, and it's all good to go so that when you finally get to that point, whatever your threshold is, so if it's one, once it reaches one, then it'll automatically just withdraw and send it to your wallet and, and you don't have to think about it. It's great. All right. So now that we've got pretty much everything set, ready to go, let's go ahead and click on start. And since I have the AMD profit profile, it chose SG minor for this. Okay, so I've let this go for a little while and I'm averaging somewhere around 520 kilohashes per second. Now, this is an AMD R9 280X. It's an older card, so this particular algorithm is not really great for the older AMD cards. However, if you have an Nvidia card, it's gonna work a lot better, all right? But just to finish up the whole process here, um, you can see that this coin is digibyte but it's not digibyte skine so remember when we added that information with the json file and everything to the coin stats well we can actually go in here now and change it to digibyte skine so everything is correct so i'm going to go ahead and right click this and go to define pool coin and we're going to change it from digibyte we're just going to scroll down to where it says skine all right, so here it is, Skine, DGB, Skine. So that's the one we added. So there it is. So we're gonna go ahead and click on OK, and it's gonna recalculate this. There you go. All right, so now it's the right coin. It'll be like that forever. Uh, what you should do once you've got a nice average benchmark on your hash rate is right click this and then click on Save Hash Rate. And you can see my current says 720 but it's actually around five. I'm gonna put this down to 520 because it's been fluctuating. So, so there you go, it's around 520. I'm gonna click on okay. And that is just something that you should get into the habit of doing for the sake of profit switching. If you're adding this to a profit switching profile, then uh, you'd wanna have that factored in. So as you can see, the amount of Digibyte Skine that I'm able to mine with this particular card does not pay, however, if we take a look at my NVIDIA GTX 1080, I'm getting 438 mega hashes, not kilohash. So this is about a thousand times more hashing power than that old AMD card. And of course, my price per day is a lot higher at $2.15. So. It's the same exact process to set this up for NVIDIA as it is for AMD. The only thing you change is the profit switching profile. So I hope you found this video helpful, guys. If so, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to hit subscribe and ding the bell so you get future updates. More videos coming your way very soon. Thanks again for watching. God bless.